G'day. Let's do an easy question today. Divisor game. All right. Alice and Bob take turns playing a game with Alice starting first. Initially, there is a number N on the chalkboard. On each player's turn, the player makes a move consisting of choosing an X with X impeding 0 and an N, where N modulus X equals 0. Placing the number N on the chalkboard with N minus X. Also, if a player cannot make a move, they lose the game. Turn true of if and only if Alice wins the game, assuming both players play optimally. So X has to be able to divide into N cleanly without any remainder. Oh, okay. I think I get it. So let's say um, the person starts on an even number. Uh, say um, six. This person uh, wants, say for example, wants to, to make the other person go on an odd move, which means they could just subtract a one, so they can get this would be five. Now Bob could wants it to remain odd, so that Alice re gets an odd number. But is it possible for Bob to make this odd? To make a number odd, you would have to subtract an even number. But would an even number divide into an odd number? Nope. It's not possible, right? So whatever Bob does here, Bob can't make it odd again. So it would have to be even. So Bob could, to maximize Bob's chance, chances that Alice makes mistakes or something, Bob would choose one. So this would be four. So Alice is now on a four, and Alice can make it so that Bob receives an odd number again. And so that's going to be three. And this continues. So if Alice starts with an even number, then Alice wins. If Alice starts on an odd number, then she loses. So it's just simply um, return n modulus two equal to zero. So it's if it's even, then then return true. Otherwise, return false. So if you do one thousand, Alice wins. And if you do something odd, Alice loses. Okay, let's submit that. So this is uh, constant time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.